you must have already been astonished to find out how incredibly effective ChatGPT is and wondered who are the people behind this groundbreaking innovation. To answer your questions, we'll bring out the people behind ChatGPT. It was developed by OpenAI, which is now owned by Microsoft. It reached the milestone of 1 million users in 5 days. To accomplish this feat, it took 2 years of Twitter, 10 months of Facebook and 5 months of Spotify. This instant success freaked out the tech billionaires. For example, Elon Musk initially invested in it and later and lately he regrets it as he quit it on 2018. Keeping aside the owners, now let's focus on the real people who researched it. Ilya Sutskever. Ilya Sutskever attended Open University of Israel, then transferred to Toronto University with his parents when he was 16. The first thing the 16-year-old teen did was to go to Toronto Public Library and find a book on machine learning. Now, it should not come off as a surprise for you that this lad will go on to become the co-founder and chief scientist of ChatGPT. Before joining OpenAI, he also worked for Google Brain till 2015. At this point, he was named in MIT Technologies Review's 35 Innovators Under 35. Then he joined newly found OpenAI. As its director and his relationship with his new fiance started to make his ex, Google, feel increasingly jealous with their groundbreaking invention, November 2022 marks the year when he conquered the world with ChatGPT. He was also elected as a fellow of the Royal Society earlier this year. He is also known for his work on reinforcement learning, where his team published a paper playing Atari with deep reinforcement learning that was the first to show that deep reinforcement learning could be used to train an agent to play Atari games at superhuman level. So if you're facing problems getting to the next round of your favorite game, he can help you out. Then we have Alec Radford. Alec Radford is a research scientist at OpenAI and was the lead author of GPT-2 paper. His merit and interest in deep learning has made artificial intelligence look more human-like, which is the best feature of ChatGPT. Obtaining a PhD in computer science from the University of Guelph in Canada. He worked for many companies including Google Brain. He joined OpenAI in 2018. And you know what happened later? He is the reason why you feel so comfortable using ChatGPT. Jack Clark. Jack Clark is the Director of Policy and Communications at OpenAI. He is also a co-founder of Policy Gradient, a research lab focused on developing AI systems that can learn from human feedback. He has extensively researched the social impacts of artificial intelligence and how to make it more ethical. His sector of ChatGPT has constantly been put into question by netizens. Because the catastrophic success of ChatGPT might devastate the tech-based economy of good. But Jack Clark has his own points to argue with. Despite his company being questioned in recent days, he is still revered globally as commentator of artificial intelligence, who is trying his best to use AI in a beneficial way for humans. His intentions is always to keep AI fair and explainable to the general folk. For this, he regularly shares his views in newsletters named Import AI that is read more than 25,000 people all over the world. People like Jack Clark, Alec Radford, and Ilya Sutskever has brought ChatGPT before you in the form of the latest online blessing. Or will it be a perpetual blessing or like those Greek gods it will bring disaster upon the people whom they were to serve the most. What are the darkest secrets of ChatGPT that terrifies many tech nerds? We will be coming back to you with the negative sides of ChatGPT in the next video.